Hey everybody, welcome back to what's in my makeup drawer. So today we're going to focus on number three. We've already done one and two. And so right here is number three. So let's get started. Let's see. Um, I guess we'll start over here. I actually didn't have these in the square. They were just sort of on the side, so I'm putting them in the square. This is a sample of Roses de, Clo de Chloe. Oh my gosh, I love this perfume. If you go to Sephora and ask them for a perfume sample, they'll give you one. So I love to travel with these or keep these in my purse. Mm, this one just smells so good. I have a roller ball of this one. So, and I... Unless I mark the bottle, I have to keep them in here or I'll forget what they are. And then this one is Chanel Chance Au Tendre. I don't know. This one's the one that comes in the pink bottle. It's round and it's flat and round and it's, it's the pink one. They have a clear one and a green one and a pink one. I love this. And so I used to always get samples of these when I'd go to Sephora. Oh my gosh, it's the best. And so now I have my own bottle, but it's kind of almost gone. It's more than halfway empty, and so I only wear on special occasions, and it's really strong. One spray will do ya. It's my very favorite perfume ever. Love it. Love it. So I just stick that in there. And here is my Rocketeer by Benefit. I wore this for a, a while. I had to have it. I just had to. This is the only Benefit blush I have. And there was a lot of hype when it first came out. And it's nice. It's kind of a rose gold. And it still kind of smells nice. I was always like, what's, what's with the smell? I don't understand. And it's not that great of a smell. It, it did come with a brush, but I don't know where it is. But it's, it's nice. Um, it's really super duper light. You can't overdo it on this color. You can't even see my swatch. But it's really quite peachy. So I don't wear it much anymore, but I've noticed that, look, there's two little holes in there. I've kind of hit pan, if you want to say. I don't know. But yeah, and it's kind of dried out, it seems like. Maybe not. Maybe I just have to work it. But I'll probably never wear this anymore. I don't know. It's just taking up space. It's just taking up a square here. Um, let's see. This I love, love. I just got this recently in a kit by QVC. Confidence in a cream. It's a face cream and I love it. Um, it's really moisturizing. It's an anti-aging armor, and I can't remember if it has SPF in it or not. I think it does, but I don't see it on the bottle. However, it might say it, it might have said it on the box. I don't have the box. But this is super concentrated. You just need a little tiny bit. It smells kind of musky and not really citrusy. But it's got a nice scent. It's kind of got a musk scent in my opinion. But it's really, really super concentrated. You don't need a whole bunch. I love it. I just love it. And I wear it with her um, foundation that came with the little set that I have. In this box here, I have my L'Oreal True Match blush. I wear this every day. This is Precious Peach, and as what I do is I'll put this on first before I put my regular blush on, because there's no there's no um, satin finish to this. There's no shine, no sparkle. I use this kind of as a buffer. It just kind of blurs everything out, so like it makes it so that my normal blush isn't so dark, in my opinion. I just it's kind of like a blush base. I don't know. And this is such a pale color, you can't even really see it. I just use it for the blurring effect, you know what I mean? So I really like it, and I'm due for another one. I think this might be my second one. 
I can't remember this. It's that old, but yeah, if I get, I will get another one. And when I do, I might go even lighter. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, this is Precious Peach. And then in here underneath it, I have some really dirty Bobba Brown shadows. Let me wipe it off as I go. Um, I got this in a kit. My friend gave it to me. And this came with these two these two eyeshadows and it came with um, a shimmer brick which I've gotten rid of because it totally hardened up and dried out. It was a bronze shimmer brick but it was way too shimmery. And it came with a lip gloss which is long gone by now. This is so old. I love these colors. I don't know if they're still available. Um, I don't think I've seen them at Nordstrom, but maybe on her website. Um, I, I got these at Nordstrom. We picked these up at Nordstrom for my birthday. But Bobby Brown, the Bobby Brown site might have them. I'm not sure. This one's called Antique Gold, and I use this a lot in the summertime. And it's just, I love it. It's my very favorite color. I just, I love the, it's kind of a satin finish. I love it. It's so pretty. I just love it. And I, if they don't have any more of this, I will be so sad. But it's just, it's just really pretty and golden and perfect for summer. And then it came with this one, and this one's Sunset Gold. And I've used a lot of this. I just love these. I hope they still have them. I don't know, maybe eBay or Amazon might have them. Oh my gosh, I'm getting dusty all over my nose. Ooh, this thing is dusty. So, anyway, I love these. I wear them all the time in the summer. Yes, I do. And here's my little sponge applicator that I use for it, which is totally filled with germs and bacteria by now. So yes, I ought to get a new one. I have extras of these, so I'm sure I'll chuck this and get a new one. And then here's a lid to something I don't know, which will go in the garbage. So there's that. And then over here I have stuff that I use every day. This is all my eye cream stuff. So here is a Fergie Shimmer Cream. It's kind of like an eye base, an eyeshadow base. I have Derma Blend um, Concealer. I love this stuff. A little goes a long, long way. First, let me show you the Fergie. This is awesome. This is from the Dollar Tree. And I have it on today, as a matter of fact. But I like it. It just, it feels good. Doesn't really smell that great, but you don't notice it. But it just helps your shadows stay on well. I like it a lot. It's quite awesome for a buck, heck yeah. And this is the Smooth Liquid Camo Concealer. And this is in Biscuit. And I think this is the lightest one they have. I got it at Ulta a year or so ago. I don't even know if they sell Derma Blend anymore. I don't know. Maybe online, but I think I was looking the other day for it at Ulta and I didn't see it. But this will last forever. You don't even need this much. I do not I don't do my under eyes with this stuff. I just conceal spots on my face, but it is highly concentrated. It smooths out so beautifully and perfectly and wonderfully. I can't tell you enough. I think this was 18 bucks. Well worth it. I love this. I will always have this. Always. Let's see. Oh, yes, and this Fergie stuff, it's hard to get off. Well, this is actually a moist wipe. It's not a makeup wipe. It's just... It's just an antibacterial moist wipe, but this it stays on really well. Um, 
This is a Mary Kay Eye Brightener. It's called Under Eye Corrector. I really like this. I put this on before I put my concealer on and I like it and I like to put it on my eyelids as well when I'm not going to wear makeup that day because my eyelids are kind of brown. You know, they just look tired all the time. They've got that brown brownness to them. So I like to put this on and it's kind of a salmon color. Get the hair out. And this blends really nicely as well and I like it a lot. It does. It brightens up your eyes. So I got this for, at, from a Mary Kay lady. I can't remember how much it was. It was probably expensive. Like It was either like $18 or $13 or $15. I don't know. But anyway. Anywho. This is my favorite under eye concealer. The Bye Bye Under Eye. Um, this is in the light shade and it is super creamy, super moisturizing, a little goes a long way. It will get in your creases. Um, at, a long time ago I bought one and then I returned it because I couldn't handle the creasing. But I gave it another try and I love it and you just don't put a lot on. That's the, that's the key. <laughs> at least not under your eyes. But I just tap it on like this and I just keep tapping when I put it on my eyes. And it's got this little tiny pearlescent sheen, but if that, it's just got this really nice sheen to it that I love. It just gives my under eyes a nice, fresh, healthy, dewy look, but without being dewy or sparkly or, I don't know, I can't explain it, but it's really nice. I really like it. So this is, this will last me forever. This is my second tube. I love it. I can't remember how much it is. I got it at Ulta, but it lasts a long, 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 long time. And let's see here. Before I used this under eye concealer, I used this concealer. And this is by Mary Kay, and I can't remember. This is Ivory. It's actually got her name and website on there. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have her address or anything. So this is Ivory One, and I used to wear this under my eyes all the time. And it's great. It's a great concealer. And you just need a tiny bit. It's really concentrated as well. Oh my gosh, I haven't used it for so long. It's like, is it still there? Come on out. And I used to just do it like that and then tap it on like that. This is uh, has a more yellow undertone than the Bye Bye Under Eye. But it's really good for covering up spots and blemishes on your face as well. And then this I actually, this is another concealer. This is the yellow one that they have and I actually marked it with nail polish so I wouldn't get it confused. One time my friend, she had this yellow one and she confused it with her other one and she put this under her eyes and she went to work and her under eye area was yellow and jaundice looking all day long and she couldn't understand why. And I'm like, you put the wrong color on. So here's the yellow one. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing. But this, you just need the teeniest bit, the teeniest bit. And I would just sort of blend it in with the other one, the lighter one. But see, it's really yellow, but it, it masks redness for zits and brownness. I really like it. I haven't used it in forever. But when I had a lot more discoloration on my face, I would use this. It worked really well. Here's a Benefit Professional. This is, you know, for you to put on your face before your makeup. It's a really good one. It's a good brand. I've used one of these before. It kind of looks, it has a little bit of color to it, but then when you put it on, it, it blends out. But it's really silky smooth. 
feels really good. Maybe I should start wearing this again. I just sort of put it on the back burner. It does feel nice though. So maybe I should give it another shot. But it's a good product. And here's a little baby one. Look at this little baby one. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. It's just a little baby. But yeah, I like these a lot. This is just a nasty eyeliner blender. I actually do wash this. I haven't washed it in a while, but I do wash this. This is super old. I don't know what it came with, but I kept it. And sometimes I'll smudge my eyeliner with it. This is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, Foundation Primer. Um, this is really good, too. I used to wear that before I got into this. This was a sample I got at Sephora, a freebie, but, or maybe it was Ulta, I don't know. But it's good. I don't, it's quite old. I don't know how good it is anymore. Oh, well, still feels nice. Doesn't have a smell to it. But these are so good for traveling, you know? But like I travel a lot, I don't know. This is my Mary Kay TimeWise Repair Volume, Volume Firm Eye Cream. I love this, and I used to wear it every single day, and then I got the IT eye cream that came with my little kit here, and so this has just been sitting in my drawer. But this is really nice. I like it, and when my IT runs out, I'll probably finish this one up. This is expensive. It's like 40 bucks, but it's really nice. I gotta clean out the tip. I really like it. I never use these silver ball things, but I like this eye cream a lot. This I need to throw away. It's a Strivectin. It's super old. It was the eye concentrate for wrinkles. Eh, this was just a little sample-y type of one that you can buy. It was like 12 bucks. Um, you know, it felt good. It moisturized. I don't know if it did much for my wrinkles, but maybe if you use this really long term, but after I was using all this, I got my other eye creams, but I'm going to chuck that because that's old. And then here's another one, the 360 Tightening Eye Serum. I liked this too. It felt good. I didn't have any reactions, but it's old and nasty, so I'm throwing that away. Oh, and here's a little Wet n Wild brush. It's cute. Isn't that cute? But I'm going to throw it away. Here's some old nasty Q-tips. This is not earwax, people. This is foundation. Like, I'll take, I'll go in with these in a powder foundation, and then I'll blot my blemishes with it. But one time Daryl saw these, one of these, and he's like, is that earwax? I'm all, no, no, no. So I just need to chuck those. And then here's another, here's a Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume sample. So anyway, that's all I've got in here, folks. And yeah, so I'm going to get rid of this. All right, that's all. Well, Oh, and this itself, I have no idea where I got it. It's so old. I don't know where I got it, honestly. I don't know if I've had this since the 90s or what, but it's a good makeup divider for my drawer. So anyway, thanks for watching, and we will do number four sometime soon. Bye!